As Scott said, the motive for this assassination attempt is not clear at the moment, but we are learning more about the moments leading up to the attack. CBS News Homeland Security and Justice reporter Nicole Skanga has an update. She is here with me in Studio 57. So, Nicole, tell us what you've learned. Yeah, just moments ago, Lana, we were told by a law enforcement source that officials have found explosive materials in the suspect's vehicle. Thomas Crooks, 20 years old, explosive materials found in his vehicle. That reporting from our colleague Pat Milton just moments ago, confirming uh, what police had speculated about yesterday, that there were suspicious packages, perhaps something that might have detonated. They alluded to that in that late night press conference before even I identifying the suspect. Overnight, we know law enforcement ran biometrics on the suspect who was not carrying an ID on him, uh, swabbed him for DNA, uh, facial recognition technology positively confirmed the suspect as Thomas Crooks. Not much is known about him, but we are learning more about the weapon that he used, a semi-automatic rifle, uh, an AR-15 that he used to shoot while laying down on that shed approximately 400 feet from the president's podium. Uh, right now, investigators looking into whether that weapon was procured from a member of his family legally purchased in Pennsylvania. Now, Nicole, you heard Scott, Scott and I discuss the fact that he was a registered Republican. You mentioned he doesn't really have a social media presence. In so many ways, this might defy the normal expectations for the profile of uh, the assailant. Um, do we know anything more in terms of theories that law enforcement is pursuing in terms of their investigation for a motive? Officials immediately ruled out any foreign nexus to terrorism. They are looking at whether or not he was in communication with others, but at this point, no indication that he acted alongside others. It looks, it has the sort of look and feel, one official told me, of a lone wolf attack. But again, this investigation, still active, still ongoing. We do know that bystanders spotted uh, crooks just moments before the rally began outside the Secret Service security perimeter of this rally. They alerted police. They alerted uh, county police, the sheriff's office, uh, who was there, that they had seen this suspicious individual, that he looked funny to them. Uh, of course, we know there is a sort of central command within these events. So that going up the chain of command, alerting Secret Service at that point, officials lost track of the suspect at this point for a few minutes. Uh, he surfaced again on the roof of that shed right. that we keep seeing in these Google map images approximately 400 feet from the stage. Uh, I am told that as he surfaced within seconds, counter sniper teams positioned within the U.S. Secret Service there were four of them last night, eight individuals total, took aim and neutralized the threat, shot the suspect dead. And we heard them immediately uh, afterwards, li live as we were watching this, say that the shooter is uh, down. Um, Nicole, just very quickly, in the moments that we have left, I want to follow up with the latest information that you have, that they found explosive materials in the car. We also know that, there's an that they're doing a search of the, the gunman's home, but all that potentially points to trying to do something even larger than just taking aim at the former president. How is security being ramped up at other high-profile locations? We know that New York City stepped up security at Trump Tower, other landmarks here around the city, and the RNC is just around the corner in Milwaukee. Yes, and we know that the RNC will look different this year. There are already indications that the perimeter is expanding, that some events will be moved inside. We expect Secret Service to say more in the coming hours about what uh, higher security measures will be taken. We also know that in addition to the former president's security detail, other Secret Service protectees have had their details bolstered as well. The president, the vice president, the family. All right. Nicole Skanga, thank you for all of your reporting.